I think that movement is so mysterious and I know that if I preclude something before I do my investigations about it, it will not be deep enough. So for instance, um, I'll think of, I'll think of, for instance, that scaffold that's three layers high. I did think of a, the Bellagio waterfall and I thought, well, what if you could do that with human bodies? What would that mean? The first um, inkling I got uh, about the possibility of this project, Streb in, in London during the Olympics, the first step was to imagine what could happen, and that, that constituted wandering around London all over. I mean, I would see every square inch of London, and I had an enormous, enormous palette of ideas, you know, and, and this became impractical, this became impractical. I fell in love with the Tower Bridge and that aspect ratio that, it, that encases the two columns and the top walkway and the bottom roadway. I wanted to put, you know, 20, well, I really wanted to put 100 dancers attached to high-speed winches going up and down, making like chevrons, sine waves, you know, diagonals, triangles. And I drew that all out and we worked on it actually for a good year. But when the cost came in, it was really the cost of my entire commission. So I couldn't do that. Uh, then I wanted to walk up the dome of St. Paul's and stand on the cross, which to some may sound sacrilegious, but I meant it in the most reverential way. There were tens and tens of designs I had, and the ones we have, the seven we have, I'm, ex I, I'm very, very, very thrilled and uh, inspired by. So that's what we ended up with. I don't really like, per se, dancing on buildings. You know, that's not my thing. and and. Um, my interest is really inventing spatial uh, uh, structures that force our bodies to be in unhabitual places in space, non-cliché ridden places in space, so that we are forced to have a new ground and therefore what we can do physically changes and even and more importantly, I think, the forces that we encounter are more errant and unfamiliar. We really wanted to work with London dancers. I didn't just want to be, you know, the big foot from America stomping in here. And this group is phenomenal. They, they stuck it out. They're beautiful. They get the Streb thing and they want to do it, you know. They want to do all the things we're going to be doing and they are doing it. And they are, you know, they're matching up to my dancers. I direct people and my team does in a particular way. It's a brutal form. You know, you're falling from 35, 40 feet and you're stopping abruptly and it's scary. And I, I feel that I've developed a way over the 30 years I've been doing it to bring joy into the room and say, you know, this is a personal best, we can do this. And uh, I think uh, maybe we lost five people sort of one at a time who just felt, you know, they, they they would, their noses kept bleeding or, you know, their shoulders went out or um, other things. Now the end game is we're all a team, you know, we're 33 people and we're going off, I can't say when, to uh, do some wild things.